Hi, I have a very popular performance tuning course on SQL Server which is called as SQL Server Internals Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning. I am very happy to let you know that this course is now traveling to New Zealand and Australia. Well, the course is not traveling. I am traveling along with the course which is I am going to deliver this class in New Zealand and Australia and I want to make you aware of what is the duration, what is the content, which cities am I traveling to and what are the dates. So let's begin. First, I want to talk about the trainer, which is me, Amit Bansal. I have been working with SQL Server since 1999, and I have done countless projects on SQL Server and Microsoft Data Platform. Most notably, I have done multiple hundreds of performance tuning assignments, and all the experience that I gained out of doing these assignments, I have packaged them into this class, which I am going to deliver in New Zealand and Australia. I am a Microsoft Certified Master of SQL Server, also an MVP awardee since 2007. And apart from training and consulting on SQL Server, I speak at global conferences whenever I get an opportunity. The URL is out there for you to learn more about me. About my course, this course SQL Server Internals Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning is actually a five-day class. It's a lot of content, but based on our customer needs and audience needs, we have packaged this course in various versions. So we have a one-day version, we have a three-day version, and a five-day version. Typically, the one-day version, we call this as SQL Maestro's Accelerator. The three-day version is called as Masterclass, and the five-day version is called as Hackathon. Now. In o New Zealand and Australia, we are delivering the one-day version, which is the accelerator. It's fast track, it is deep dive, and it covers the most important stuff you need to care about SQL Server performance. The first class is happening on May 25 in Christchurch, and this is part of a SQL Saturday event. So the main event is on 26th, and the pre-con is on May 25th. Then I travel to... Uh, Wellington, which is on May 28, and a full day class is going to be delivered. May 30, I would be traveling to Auckland. The full day class is going to be delivered in New Zealand again. And then the last class is happening in June 1st uh, in Brisbane, Australia. Now, June 1st is again part of SQL Saturday event. The course, this full day class that I'm going to deliver is titled as Practical SQL Server Performance Tuning. And now I want to take two minutes explaining you what the coverage is going to look like. The first module is going to be CPU troubleshooting and scheduling, and I'm going to cover query lifecycle and what does connection sessions, requests, tasks, workers, threads, and the complete SQL OS component of the database engine looks like. We will talk about the common scheduler wait types and we will understand how to identify and diagnose CPU performance issues. We will look at various workload patterns that cause excessive CPU cycles and we will focus on important DMVs and performance counters. Module two is going to focus on IO troubleshooting. Now IO is very, very critical for any database and I'm going to focus on troubleshooting IO performance using dynamic management views various performance counters and we will dive deep into four specific weight types for example page io latch write log io completion etc i will also show you how you can identify workloads that are causing excessive io and uh, various remedies that you can implement module 3 is going to be memory troubleshooting now this is one area where i see dbas and developers really going blank and that's why we say and I per particularly call this as a dungeon, which is really dark and it's like a black box and you don't know what to do. I'm going to talk about internal versus external memory pressure. What are the various memory errors that SQL Server throws up? And then we will focus on troubleshooting memory isu issues. Um, main, max memory are, are the basics, but why SQL Server consumes so much memory? Which are the workloads that are causing excessive memory usage? Uh, the different memory weight types? And then we are going to focus on an advanced concept, which is query workspace memory. This will uh, cover the third module, memory troubleshooting. Module four will focus on TEMDB. And most importantly, I'm going to talk about all the various tips and tricks that you can implement to improve TEMDB performance. Over the years, I've seen that TEMDB has really be been becoming a bottleneck for many SQL Server deployments because anything and everything goes into TEMDB. And we will see how you can work around those issues. 
Module 5 will uh, focus on one aspect of concurrency, which is deadlocks. So this module is not going to talk about blocking, locking, but we will only focus on deadlocks. What are the different types of deadlocks? What are the best practices? How you can avoid deadlocks? And I'm going to f uh, show you some practical examples of troubleshooting and diagnosis. The last module is going to focus on indexes, and this is a topic that is loved by developers and DBAs uh, both. I'm going to talk about common myths uh, that are around indexes, and then we will focus on indexing strategies and real-world index tuning examples. So I'm going to take multiple workloads, uh, run them, and show you how performance is bad, and then we will do this as an exercise where you are going to identify uh, which are the right indexes for a given query. What are your takeaways? Your takeaways from this full day class is going to be practical real world examples. I have been seeing many courses and workshops around SQL Server performance tuning which are very bookish and very theoretical in nature. This workshop is going to be 100% demo heavy, 100% practical and packed with real world examples. You are going to walk away with all the demo scripts and the database and of course loads of learning that you can apply into production right away. This course is meant for the working SQL Server professional. When I say working, I mean that you need to have some experience with SQL Server. It could be an year or two or three or even more. So you got to have some experience with SQL Server, then you are the right candidate for this class because I'm only going to give you uh, some of the best things that you can take away and improve performance of your production databases. And I would just jump back a few slides and talk about this small URL there, bit.ly URL, and that's the place where you can you can click and go into that link. You can also find this in the YouTube video description, bit.ly slash SQL, SQL NZ, that stands for New Zealand, Australia, AUS 2018. And I hope that's easy to remember, bit.ly SQL NZ AUS 2018. So module one, two, three, four, five, six, lot of content out there so it's going to be rigorous it's going to be fast paced and i hope you will join me and keep up with uh, this particular class and something for um, all my international students uh, uh, in these four cities if you're joining this course you will get free one week subscription to sql maestro's hands-on labs now what is this this is an, a very innovative learning platform which is online and on demand this library has more than 100 labs for you to practice each lab is divided into multiple exercises and each exercise has instructions, steps and uh, illustrations, graphics, examples and you would just love it because it, it covers the entire Microsoft data stack. Not only SQL Server development and database, it has labs around Azure Data Factory, SQL Database, um, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, Machine Learning um, and Power BI, Analysis Services, Integration Services, Reporting Services and, and just what not. So um, great learning repository. On the first day of the class, you are going to create a free account for yourself and someone from our team will upgrade your account and give you one week of full access to the library if you're joining any of these classes. So a quick summary again, May 25th is Christchurch. Do join this pre-con and also join us for SQL Saturday event which will happen on May uh, 26th. Then May 28, May 30 in Wellington and Auckland respectively and then in Australia it is June 1 as part of SQL Saturday event again. Uh, so join us on June 2 for the full day event as well. And this is the bit.ly URL once again for you to remember. Well with this, uh, thank you very much and I hope you will join uh, these classes and this will be worth your time. Thank you very much.